Hey, Richard Knudsen here again. And what I want to talk about here is why and how you can use many-to-many -many relationships to classify accounts. Now, if you've seen this in CRM 4.0, it's definitely worth seeing it in the new version. In particular, a couple of the things I'll show you in the how-to demonstration required a fair amount of code to implement in 4.0, but can now be done as no-code customizations using only the CRM 2011 form design tools. Now, a good place to start is with the standard, uncustomized CRM 2011 account form, which we see here. It's got a pick list, or option set, as we refer to them now, that we can use to characterize our relationships with our accounts. And you can see that you're restricted to only selecting a single value here. Now, while that might be appropriate for certain kinds of information, for other kinds it's not. An example of where it might be is the territory field. which is also on the out-of-the-box account form. It's a lookup rather than a pick list, but it really gives you the same functionality. And you can see here that it's got the same restriction that you can only select a single value. Now this is a business rule, of course, but for many organizations, the assignment of an account to a single territory at a time is really the way to go. For the complex relationships we have with our accounts, though, probably not so much. Now, with some accounts, for example, we may partner on some deals and compete on others. And this either-or pick list doesn't let me capture that. And other accounts might simultaneously be customers, partners, investors, and so forth. So the question is, how do I create a many-to-many -many relationship between accounts we see here and another custom entity that I've created, I'll navigate to it, called Account Categories, that contains the values I want to use to classify my accounts. So one account record might be both a client and a competitor, conceivably. So here are my Account Categories. Navigate back to Accounts, and I'll open up an account record so we can test this on the fly. And I'll use the convenient CRM 2011 in-place customization feature so I can click Customize Account. And for this functionality, I need to be customizing the entity because what I want to do is go to many-to-many -many relationships, this end-to-end -end relationships, and create a new one. So I'm going to create a new many-to-many -many relationship. And since I was on the account entity when I came in here that's the default one up here and I want to select account category here and I'm gonna just fix up this naming a little bit and let's choose the plural name to display this on both sides of the entity relationship and then accept all the rest of the defaults save and close to create that relationship then when I'm done I'll click on the account here. Now I want to publish these changes. So even though I created a relationship to another entity, I only have to publish one of the entities for it to work on both sides. So now what we'll see, let's go ahead and close out of the customization UI. The next time I open an account form, you'll see in the left hand navigation area that I've now got a little clickable link for account categories. And I can use this to add an existing account category to any particular account record. So in this case, we might have a coopetition relationship. And I'll choose both competitor and client to categorize a store. And I will uh, work by myself for a minute to populate a few of these other relationships because the interesting thing that I want to show you next is how we actually use this information. Okay, so now I've identified a number of my account records as uh, various of those account categories. And I've even gone to the trouble of creating two custom system views for account categories that may be of particular interest to my organization. So I've got caterers and I've got venue providers. Those might be important views for an organization, for example, doing in event management. I put a little asterisk in front of them just to keep track of which of these are system views from dynamic CRM, that is out of the box system views, and which of these are ones that I've created. And I want to take you through this process now of creating one of these for the vendor 
scenario. So here's how you can create these queries like this. So I'm going to go to Customize on Account, and I'll create a new system view. And this is going to be called Vendors, and I'll use the convention that I have of putting the asterisk there. So the account name is really all I need here. I might want to make that a little bit wider. Let's make that 200 pixels wide. But here's the tricky part. I want to edit the filter criteria. How do I tell Dynamic CRM that the only account records I want to see here are ones that are identified as vendors? Well, here's what you got to do. Since it's a many-to-many -many relationship, that piece of information is not stored in any of these fields on the account record type. It is stored in the account categories, which even though it has a many-to-many -many relationship, it's still related. So I can choose account categories, and what I want to do is use the account category field. If I choose this field, I'm going to get the lookup. This is a convenient lookup field. If you, by the way, if you do choose, you can filter on the name field, which is the text field, where I entered the name of the account category, but if you do that, you can't do a lookup, so it's a little more convenient to just go ahead and choose this is the actual lookup field. If I do that, I get a pick it from a list. I could have multiple values selected here, but let's just suppose I want to just select a list of vendors, so I choose vendor there. Click OK. And I don't really need to do much else. I don't the default sort is fine because this could be on account name. So I'll go ahead and save and close this. And this is an entity customization, so I do need to publish this. Once it's published, and when the account view is refreshed. I now have my new vendor system view here and I can verify that by the way by opening one of these account records and clicking on account categories verify that the grand store certainly has been identified as a vendor. So we've seen how to create many-to-many -many relationships and how to build a query to display records related through them. Now I want to show you an important new CRM 2011 form customization technique filtered views you can use to put these many-to-many -many account classifications to work. I'll show it using the service activity record type, but you can adapt this to lots of different situations. I'm on the service calendar here, and I'll double-click a service activity to open its form. Now this is the standard uncustomized service activity form, but notice I've got this drop-down list at the top of the navigation area. This is the new form selector in CRM 2011, and if I've got multiple forms created for an entity, which is a new feature, the ability to create multiple forms per entity in Dynamic CRM 2011, and I've got that situation here, I can, as a user with sufficient security privileges, select one of the available forms to view the record with. We can target these forms to users with specific security roles, and in the example here, I've got this customized version of the form with information only the scheduler needs to see. Since I'm signed in as a user with system administrator security role, I can select this version of the form and customize it a little bit further. Now remember that this venue provider was one of my account categories. This field that we're looking at here is a lookup field. Notice that the lookup is against accounts. But also notice that the only accounts we see in the list here are ones that have been categorized as venue providers. This is going to make it a lot easier for my users since they won't have to search through all account records. They'll just see the records they need to see. So I'll select one of these venue providers. But now I need to add another customization. Remember that caterers was another account category and one that might have special rel relevance for event management. So now I'll show you how to use a filter lookup to replicate this functionality for another account category. I'll use in place customization again. So I can simply click the customize tab. And in this scenario, all I need to do is customize the form. So I'll open the form in customization mode. And what I want to do in this case is create a new field. And this field is going to be a lookup against accounts but it's going to be a filtered lookup to only display accounts that are also caterers. So I'll call it caterers or caterer and I'll specify that it's got a type of lookup. Lookup is going to be against account and I'll give it a better name. So this creates a new field which implicitly creates 
many to one relationship from service activity to account. So this is a good example of how productive in place customization is since that replaced uh, a whole lot of steps I would have had taken in Dynamic CRM 4 to create the relationship first explicitly and then create pop the lookup field onto the form. I can just do that in one go here in CRM 2011. So here's my caterer and I can now take that field that's created, that's the lookup field, and drop that out onto the service activity form. And I've already created things like the catering contact, which you can probably guess is a lookup. That's going to be a lookup against the contact entity. And I've got the catering budget. I'll drop out there as well. So now I've got the caterer, the catering contact, the catering budget. And if I preview this form, you can tell that my work's not quite done. When I do the lookup, notice this is all account records. I just want to see caterers here. So how do I do that? This is the filtered lookup piece. So here's what we do. Open up the lookup field in the customization UI. And when I've got the field properties dialog open, all I need to do is change the default view. And notice that I've got these system views available here. And there's the caterer system view. We looked at that earlier. Now, what I can do is I can restrict the views that are displayed there with this, in this additional properties section. And I can optionally let users select different views or not. If I lock it down like this, then you can see when I preview that I only see here in this caterer lookup field accounts that have been identified, categorized with that caterer values because you notice that they're in the view. And notice that I since I locked that down with the lookup field properties, the field user can't select a different view here. So I can select one of those caterers. And when I'm done with that, simply save and close and go ahead and publish the entity. And now the next time a user with uh, sufficient security privileges opens the form and selects the scheduler version of it, we can go do our filter lookup on caterer and take advantage of that many-to-many -many relationship we created between accounts and account categories. So this is an example of a pretty common requirement. Categorizing records like accounts when a single account might fit into more than one category. You need many-to-many -many relationships for that and the approach I showed here works pretty well and with CRM 2011 filtered lookups, you can exploit those relationships to improve the user experience and not have to write any code in the process. Richard Knutson signing off, and I hope you found this helpful.